Hey everybody, Dan Schinder here at the NAMM Show 2015 at the Sabian booth with one of their artists, the Mad Drummer, Steve Moore. How are you, Steve? I'm doing great, man, doing great. It's so cool to meet you in person, finally. I love what you do. And for those of you who don't know what Steve Moore does, we're gonna cut in a clip right now. And while they're seeing some of your stuff, how did this come about? Uh, long story very short, um, I play with a band called Rick Candy All Nighters. We do about 200 shows a year. And a uh, random fan came out and just videotaped one of our shows. Um, and they uploaded it to video, or uploaded the video to YouTube. And about a month later, it had about 5 million hits. And right now, we actually just hit 30 million hits um, about a month ago. Wow. So, so I, I, fortunately for me, I had nothing to do with it. It just, it just happened. At the time, is that how you played and performed at a gig, typically? Yes. Um, every band that I've been with, with the exception of that band, uh, is very has always been very heavy stuff. A lot of a lot of metal, a lot of punk, a lot of thrash metal. Uh, so whenever I got with Rick, uh, that's Rick K, the band. It was a very different dynamic. Uh, so basically, what we learned how to do is for me to still do the movements that I'm accustomed to doing. However, we managed to make, we spun it and made it more comical yeah. versus serious. And it's worked really well. People enjoy it, so. That's really cool. Uh, now, when we were talking last night, you mentioned you have, okay, I don't know if you can talk about this, so you let me know, but sure. you got something in the works? Yes. That's got, can we talk about that? Absolutely. Cool, Absolutely. tell everybody your concept and what's going on. I love it. Yep, in uh, 2015, which is now, fortunately, yeah. and it's, it's yeah. been a while getting it to this point, but I'm actually promoting a uh, new show, and uh, the name of the show is simply going to be This Drummer's at the Wrong Gig, and you can find information about it at therwronggig.com. Yep, yeah, it's right here on your screen. Wow. Oh, nice, nice, beautiful. Uh, but what the concept is, it's going to be a very big show, uh, probably 11 people on stage. We're going to have dancing girls, backup singers, a horn section, um, and the premise of the show is based around the theme of This Drummer's at the Wrong Gig. So if you can imagine a really high-end production, uh, big screens, really, really high-end production, uh, a Vegas-style show, and everything is nice and what you would expect, and then I come into the mix and, <laughs> and ruin everything, and ruin everything. So that, And then from there, it just goes downhill. So it's really going to be a lot of fun. I love it. Yeah. And you just said the magic word. And um, you know, so many people see Steve's videos and Zoltan Cheney. Oh, yeah. He, he, Zoltan, I have a text on my yeah. phone. He's yep. yep. beautiful and, guy. And, and you know, some people are a little critical that it's not necessary, it's about the music. You know what? It is all about fun first. Remember why you started playing drums first. And just because you're not into some of the acrobatics and the things that Steve or Zoltan do, doesn't mean that it sucks. If you don't like it, that doesn't mean it sucks. It's just not for you, but I, I find no reason to be critical of any drummer for any reason. I just don't. Well, you, you have to understand where it comes from. Yeah. And, and I, I think that's a lot of it. It doesn't come from a place of arrogance. It doesn't come from a place of, look at me, how cool I am. Right. It's fun. Right. That's it. Yeah. We, we, we enjoy it. It's a, it's a challenge. Yeah. You know, it's a way of, of taking a basic groove because unless you're playing Dream Theater or Rush or right. something that's you know in an odd meter, yeah. you know if you're playing straight time, it gives us something to do that's fun yeah. and we enjoy it. It's 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 not about anything more than that. Yeah, and that's beautiful. That is what it should all be about. I love what you do. Um, I often use it to bring me out of any slight funk I might feel myself <laughs> slipping into. This is the guy. It's just fun, man. And so thank you for what you do. I appreciate it. You're that. welcome. And thanks for coming on Drum Talk TV. And thank you all for putting up with me so that you can learn more about Steve Moore, the mad drummer, the drummer at the wrong gig, who I think really found the right gig, in my opinion. But uh, thank you all for joining us here on DrumTalkTV.com. Thanks.